What the heck is a pseudo attack? Don't turn away, because I'm gonna answer that question right now. Hey! Howdy! Thanks for learning about MS with me, Aaron Boster. I started this YouTube channel to help my own MS clinic patients learn between visits, and it's my hope that through these videos, I can help you learn too. Today I want to discuss the term pseudo-relapse or pseudo-exacerbation. It causes a lot of confusion. Words matter, and I want to be super clear. The word attack, flare, exacerbation, or relapse all reference the same thing. In the setting of having relapsing MS, there's a new bout of focal inflammation attacking the brain or spinal cord and causing a short circuit of neurological function. If the attack occurs in the optic nerve, then you can't see. If the attack occurs in the spinal cord, we would expect deficits below the level of the lesion with weakness of legs or numbness of the legs or bowel bladder problems. The word pseudo comes from Greek. It means similar to, but it ain't. And a pseudo attack, if you're not clear, might sound like it's fake, like the person's making it up, which is not true. In fact, what's happening is very real. And someone who is living with MS, who has had prior damage to their spinal cord or brain from an attack, which is largely healed, will have a reemergence of those old symptoms from the damaged area. It's triggered by something, typically an infection or a fever. And so a classic example would be someone who years ago had an optic neuritis of their eye and they went blind in their eye. And after steroids and time, the vision came back. Maybe it came back all the way. So functionally, they've recovered. But structurally, the structure of the optic nerve, it's still damaged. And it no longer operates at 100%. Maybe it only operates at, say, 80%, which under normal circumstances is dandy like candy. However, if that person with MS now has a urinary tract infection, and the body raises the core body temperature even just one degree, it can overwhelm that optic nerve. And that optic nerve that only functions in 80% now short circuits. And there's a re-emergence of old visual deficits. That can be super scary. Here's the kicker. You don't want to treat that phenomenon, that pseudo attack with steroids. That would be the wrong direction. You want to treat it with antibiotics to take care of the urinary tract infection. Because when the UTI goes away and the core body temperature goes back down, the optic nerve can now continue to function at 80%. I sometimes think of a pseudo attack as like an electrical cord that got run over by a lawnmower. So that electrical cord no longer works the way it used to. We duct taped it up and it's okay. And if we plug in one appliance to that electrical cord, it can handle the load. But if we plug in multiple different appliances to that one faulty cord, it will short circuit. So it doesn't work anymore. When you start to unplug unnecessary appliances and you get down to one appliance again, that cord is adequate for the load it's being given and it can work. And this is very analogous to what's happening with a damaged spinal cord, damaged optic nerves, or a damaged area of the brain. A pseudo attack is not fake. It's real symptoms but it's not caused by new neurological inflammation. And it's an important thing to understand. Here's the thing. The human being experiences a symptom. They don't necessarily know what caused the symptom. They don't know if it's a new attack or if it's a pseudo attack. And quite honestly, it's not my goal that they figure it out on their own. My belief is that when you experience a new neurological symptom lasting longer than a day, you call your neurologist. And hopefully that neurologist is going to see you in clinic and they can assess you. They can look for infection. They can listen to the lungs if they need to. They can take your temperature. They can check a urinalysis and they can look for a trigger of a pseudo attack. With your neurologist, you can sort out whether the new symptoms you're experiencing are in fact a new attack or whether it's a pseudo attack. And therefore, you know which way to treat the condition. If you would like to learn more about attacks, click the video that's on your screen right now. Click that video and let's do some more learning. My name's Aaron Boster and thank you for learning about MS with me. Until my next video or live stream, be safe and take care.